what's going on. In this tutorial, I want to speak about CI-CD in Django War. CI-CD or continuous integration and continuous deployment uh, are impactful things that make the success of your project more uh, easier and feasible. In this series, we have used GitHub as a, our repository manager and we are going to make benefit of its action or GitHub actions to make our life easier. So stay tuned with me to make this happen. So this is the project that we created in the uh, previous lessons. And we add Docker, Docker Compose, and Django Rest Framework, and etc. etc. Uh, in this tutorial, we want to uh, add a CI CD to the project. So we want uh, automatically building and testing and deploy. For this purpose, I have added uh, two files. Actually, I have uh, added a one file, uh, CICD.YML uh, or YAML in the directory .github slash workflows uh, and uh, that file uh, CICD.YML. So I want to uh, look at the content of the file and give us uh, some explanation about that so first of all uh, we want to uh, uh, run this uh, yaml or these instructions uh, in the push situation where the target branch is a uh, master so whenever we create a uh, PR or pull request in GitHub uh, into the master after the, the uh, merge uh, merging the PR and accepting the, that PR uh, this uh, workflows uh, will be run so this workflow have a uh, three job uh, test uh, build and deploy and in the test uh, actually uh, we used uh, Ubuntu and uh, Python 3.10. Uh, this is the this is same with our Docker file Python base Python. So we want to test uh, our app in the same situation. And uh, if you uh, see that we have uh, some packages that uh, we installed. So in the job, we also have uh, that packages uh, that we will install in the Ubuntu and then we install uh, requirement packages about Python, uh, like a Django or Django REST paper. And then uh, we use a toss, uh, test method of the uh, Django. So we check the functionality of our Django app. And that was test uh, job. And uh, in the build job, we also run it on the Ubuntu and we use it uh, Docker container. So this do, this container uh, has a Docker already installed it, and actually we need a Docker command installed uh, into Ubuntu, uh, and we also use some prepared actions. Uh, 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 the important thing is that uh, we. Uh, we want to run uh, these jobs in sequential mode so we want to be run build after test so we can uh, achieve that uh, by needs commands so we say that build needs test 
so after the test we want to run this job and uh, then uh, we use docker command to log into our registry and build a image from uh, content of docker file uh, and we name it or tag it uh, in this way take with mic uh, actually is my uh, username uh, in the uh, docker registry and shop is the app name and uh, tag or version that we uh, give it uh, point ten one point zero and then we push the image uh, into the registry so after that uh, we have the image in the our registry and we can use it in the next job uh, next job is a deploy and we want to uh, run it after build job so we here here we use a, a specific uh, prepared action named uh, apple boy ssh action master and this uh, prepared action uh, uh, provide us uh, SSH command so we can easily SSH to a, a new container so we want to uh, pull new image in a, our Ubuntu server in the deploy stage and this uh, prepared action uh, easily provide that for us and we use a uh, server IP, server port, and server username, server SSH key. The secrets that we should provide in the uh, GitHub or repository uh, settings. And then the script is, uh, first of all, we log in into our uh, Docker Hub repository and then pull the new image and then we will go to the uh, project directory so we should specify project paths in the our credentials and we use uh, we will use docker compose op dash d for uh, re op or re uh, actually in this by this command we will fetch a new image and then uh, up the servers in the detach mode so this is the uh, CICD this is the first uh, actually the first thing uh, that we should add to our repo the second was is a uh, a minor change in the our docker compose so we want uh, to instead of building image we want to pull image from our uh, for our, from our uh, image repository so i also change it then and that's it so here uh, i want to I, I created a new branch uh, branch name is fit at cicd workflow and then i will go ahead and push uh, to the actually i think uh, first i should commit the changes Okay, now I will go to the our pull request section in our GitHub. Uh, 
repository and create a new PR so changes are these let me create the PR and then merge the PR okay uh, here I will go to the action section so uh, workflows will be shown in the action section so here you can see that after merging the branch into the master branch we uh, at github created a new workflow for us so first stage is test and after it is build and after that uh, deploy stage will start so it uh, takes uh, some minutes and if uh, um, stages was successful we have a green check mark uh, we will see green check mark uh, aside uh, the words so our test was successful actually you can uh, go to the message and see the comments for example here we our command that was run uh, python test uh, actually we don't uh, we didn't have any uh, test so test was successful in the next tutorials I will add some tests to our app after uh, adding more APIs to the project and then the uh, build stage started and build the stage is a take uh, takes more minutes because has more work uh, to do Okay, the build uh, stage also was successful and we go into the deploy stage so in the deploy stage uh, it will SSH to our Ubuntu server and pull new image from our uh, docker hub repository and then uh, we'll do a docker compose up uh, command to uh, uh, get a new image and set up the services so this is the CICD tutorial in the Django and I hope you enjoy that